Greetings, sirs and madams. I'm Seraphic Zero, and we're playing Gun Battle Operation 2. So, this week's step up is for the ground type full armor Gundam. And, you know, outside of the Gundam Alex, this was actually my favorite general type mobile suit from the first game. It is. Well, in that game, it was like absolutely overpowered and broken, and that's why I freaking love the thing. So, as you can see, it's pretty much a support type mobile suit in the general type class. So. Yeah, let's see what we get. Yeah, the, the past couple of weeks I've had uh, very bad luck. I've been saving up my tokens. Yeah, I skipped over the Jim Quail and uh, the Galbaldi beta. Uh, so yeah, this is a a special spin for some Pale Riders. I don't really have any of those, but yeah, we're going to do a 10 spin for the ground type full armor. So let's see what falls out of these planes. Oh man, like, uh, not a lot of good luck lately. Okay, so we have an Alex Beam Saber. Already have one. Uh, a Heat Saber Enhanced. We have the Ground Type Full Armor Gundam at level 2. Okay, that kind of takes the tension out of this video. <laughs> yeah, I got on the third part of the spin. Okay, a Bazooka for the Rickdom. The Jim Camu. This is starting to become the new Zaku FS. Okay, Mara Size Beam Rifle. I think that goes to the Hyzak or something. A late model Beam Saber. I'm not even sure what that goes to. Uh, Mad Madrox? Did they not change that name, Madrox Beam Saber? Okay, Combat Nail. I think that's for the, the Gasha. I think I have all four levels of that thing. And level 4 Hyper Bazooka Kai. Uh, God, that's got to be a really strong bazooka. And I forgot there's a bonus for the 10 spin. I get a helmet. I don't know whose helmet that is. It might be Amro's or something. Okay, so... I uh, got a lot of repeats on weapons. The only mobile suit is the ground type full armor, which you know I'm perfectly okay with. It's got very good defense, uh, very good mobility for a full armor, and really high shooting correction. So it looks like it can only sortie on the ground, and it does have ground affinity, so it should have pretty good boost powers. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's try our luck at a spin for a Pial Rider. Like, uh, I would be happy with either of these, but I really like that space type. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of suits with Gatlings, and I, you know, you know me, I totally love machine guns. <laughs> okay, let's see what falls out of this plane. Uh, Thunderbolt's Beam Saber. Okay, did not expect that. <laughs> okay, that's definitely not a Pale Rider. Okay, that's good enough for now. Okay, so let's check the menu, and I'm just gonna equip some of these weapons before I forget about them. I think I actually did forget about the, the Gasha's Combat Nail. So, uh... It's okay, so it's got pretty good slots. It has a lot of mid-slots, so you can put reload parts on there. Okay, so it's got a twin beam rifle, uh, 350 range, and 18 heat. That uh, is really, really low heat. Uh, apparently it just uses a standard beam saber, that's kind of surprising. Okay, 450 range in the cannon, only 6 shells, this is similar to the first game. Uh, Vulcans, looks pretty normal, very low damage. And it has a an SML on the shoulder, I think it was at 400 range. Okay, so let's just stick some parts on here. Um, I don't expect to be in a lot of close combat with it, so I'm just going to put level 1 leg armor. A uh, shit ton of reload parts. Uh, let's see. Range damage. Yeah, I've been slowly building up my collection of custom parts. Okay, what else do we have slots for? Um, yeah, I could put the level 3 boost part. And top slots, uh, let's put level 1 boost. Alright, awesome. Okay, so main gun on square, I'm going to always put my cannons on circle. And the SML I'm going to put on X. I don't know why, who would put Vulcans on quick map? <laughs> okay, so for skills it has level 3 leg shock absorber, so like for like jumping and landing. Uh, level 2 quick boost, so it can jump high pretty fast. Anti-blast stabilizer. Okay, very good, so I can stand in explosions without getting staggered. Uh, radar, it has Balancer level 1. Uh, maneuver armor, that's 
very interesting for a like a kind of a cannon class mobile suit and melee combo controller so it can do a two hit melee okay so this is actually a very strong suite of skills for a mobile suit with a cannon and I'm really gonna make a lot of use out of that maneuver armor yeah and the fact that I put a bunch of boost parts should really help me do that a lot okay so we're gonna just throw some paint on this real fast and yeah the the color zones on this are pretty normal I have no idea what that panel right there actually colors it looks like you can color the backpack and the SML ah, that should do okay so let's go ahead and take this thing out on the field so we can see what it does okay here we go so the the running speed is pretty good for a cannon suit let's look at the weapon cycle uh, cannon Vulcans SML and I think beam gun again okay so it's pretty much uh, very similar to the order it had in the first game and the weapon cycle it's pretty much in the perfect order for the way you want to use the combo uh, although uh, the beam saber is it, it's a little early like in the combo but um, okay let's look at the turn speed yeah the turn speed is pretty good I didn't even put any turn parts on it so yeah that's very excellent okay pretty um, let's say a above average boost speed it doesn't look like it's as fast as the first game but you know that's fine okay let's check out the weapons I'm mostly gonna do this testing on this Gundam okay so you can scope with the double beam rifle and you can go prone with it a cannon can go prone Vulcans the SML can go prone um, I don't think it can scope though okay, let's look at the damage 498 for a shot and if you hold it down it rapid fires a very low heat um, yeah you can this is basically a beam spot gun, and it looks like it stuns in about five shots. Okay, very interesting. Okay, two hit melee, very low damage on that. Okay, the cannon does pretty good damage. Uh, Vulcans, they're fairly accurate, but very low damage on the Vulcans, only 30 rounds. Uh, the SML does like about 320 on a shot. 358 when you're prone. Holy crap, the rate of fire on this thing. Okay, so uh, it looks like the, the SML causes flinch, a very fast flinch. So you could possibly just, just lock a person down with that. Okay, so it doesn't stun at all, but it does flinch the entire time. That can be absolutely horrific to be hit by, Jesus. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm guessing the SML is going to be the best weapon on this, and it, it does reload very fast. Uh, keep in mind, I do have two reload parts on, so it does reload abnormally quickly. But yeah, that is really excellent. Okay, um, kind of okay damage on the, on the double beam gun. Uh, the overheat time is... that's pretty normal for a beam weapon, in my opinion. Okay, yeah, let's try out this combo. Yeah, I suspect going from cannon to SML is going to be ridiculous. And then when you you go dry on the, the small missiles, you can always go to the beam gun. And it kind of looks like uh, the SML does contribute to stun, but it can't stun itself. But as soon as you swap to the beam gun, like it looks like the, the beam gun will stun like almost with two shots. Okay, that's interesting. Jesus, and the SMLs ready again almost instantly after you're using the other gun that is crazy crazy good reload time yeah I'm really liking the damage output on this so yeah it's doing well against generals and doing reasonably well against support types as well so I yeah I feel really bad for any raid types <laughs> that are gonna get, get, uh, gonna get targeted by this thing okay so I'm trying out some beam saber combos here and it sort of looks like the SML may not be ideal for this part of the combo because it requires you to stand still. So having to recover from your boost cancel to fire the SML just it doesn't really allow you to get a lot of shots off. So 
Yeah, maybe the beam gun would be a better choice for this, or maybe another uh, beam saber swing would be optimal. Yeah, so I did okay there. Um, yeah, so it's it's kind of a toss-up between the SML and the beam gun. Let's see. Yeah, you want to press your weapon switch uh, pretty much immediately, like actually during like a, your downswing. That should give you the optimal timing. Okay, let's try stun from the beam gun, beam saber, SML. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Yeah, so God, I'm from the looks of it, like any combo from this mobile suit is gonna do really good damage, and it has so many different weapons options. You're pretty much always gonna have something to attack with. So yeah, I'm I'm really liking this so far. Okay, cannon to saber, SML. Yeah, I need to figure out how to do that cancel a little more efficiently. Okay, let's try another combo. Cannon, saber, beam gun. Ah, oh, fuck, I fucked up the cancel. Yeah, that, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, so I think uh, between your two options on your combo, um, the SML probably does more damage, but maybe the beam gun is more safe because you can walk and fire it, like just in case there are enemy units around that could be, you know, attacking you. But, um, I'm probably just gonna do cannon to SML. I'm not gonna worry about beam saber stuff. Although, um, the suit does have the mobility and the skills to support you fighting in close range. Like, it it definitely should be really good at that. So, this is a very, very well-rounded suit. It looks like it fights well at every range, so, um, that's really fantastic. Um, that's it. Maybe the only thing you have to watch out for is... Uh, sniper fire uh, from actual support suits because if you counter snipe them they're they're gonna murder you but um uh, yeah I guess uh, that's gonna be our look at the ground type full armor Gundam I am really excited to use this and I'm really happy I got it but anyway guys that's gonna be it for now hopefully you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time